what's up YouTube it's another beautiful day in Kansas and I have a surprise for all my beloved subscribers both present and future so shout out to everybody who will subscribe uh, I picked up something uh, the other day and I think you're gonna like it so let's go ahead and just show you guys what that is Yes, ladies and gentlemen, I got another Miata. It's in rough shape, but it's a work in progress. And everyone asks me what my plans are going to be for it. And I'm going to just get it looking right, get it looking nice, and then replace the panels and everything and just drive it. So, uh, this was owned by an old woman, reportedly. And she was in an accident where she was rear-ended and then hit somebody in the front, hence the bumper damage. Oh, Jesus. This fender, it got kinked out here, pushed in here. And uh, the trunk lid has a little divot. The finished panel area got pushed in, but I'm gonna be able to pull that out here shortly. Well, I'm not gonna do that today. I'll probably do that another day. But then the rear bumper was kind of just a little massage in the wrong direction however since I put the bash bar on the turbo car I have a bumper to put on here I just have to take off the, uh, the little mud flaps first that's new to me so I gotta figure out it shouldn't be too hard it looks like just a couple bolts and then I have the fender from the black car to go here I was gonna have to sand it and repaint it and the same for the front bumper when I bought the car it actually came with the front bumper to replace it it looks like this light is a little crooked but with some heat and some pressure I should be able to fix that and I just need to get a little turn signal light and I should be good to go um, it's a 1990 it has when I drove it home it had about a hundred 21,000 some odd miles on it. Pretty much exactly how much miles my car had, or the turbo car had, ugh, when I first got it. It actually had 120, not 121. It's the, uh, it has the original top with the zipper. So, I'm sure that's how she was able to preserve the back window. Because my car, I don't think it originally had a zipper and the back window was all torn up but I'm grateful that this one has it oh there's some soap in here I haven't cleaned the car out yet like that's my plan for this weekend however yeah so I got a whole bottle of Ajax so look at that for, for the free anyway so zipper down top back functions perfectly no holes in the top no holes in the window the canvas is perfect there's a couple of small things in the interior this right here what I might do is I just need some hardware for it actually but it's kind of hard to match up so I'll see what I have in my little bolt bucket see if I can replace that just a couple of small things just a small tear here this is loose just like on my other car, but it's okay. That's an easy enough fix. Um, the tombstone is a little rough. I might swap this with the turbo car as well. See over here is kind of broken. But full carpet, full interior. And it's in pretty good condition. The floor mats are nice. Original floor mats. Yeah, the carpet's actually beautiful. That speaker doesn't really work that well. But this door pull is good. I'm a big guy and these kind of get in my way, but I think I'll keep it in this car just for the fact that I'm not going to be using it for 
any kind of spirited or hard driving. It'll just be, you know, just a cruise around post, drive around my wife if we want to go do something nice. So I don't have to be in the very in the loud, angry, obnoxious turbo car. Um, what else do we have in here? Yeah, everything's good. It's a 90, so there's no trunk popper. But these work. Everything else is pretty much good to go. Let me show you guys the trunk. All right, so with the hood, I'm gonna have to pull the front support, I believe, because it doesn't exactly latch. Actually, I need to get some snips. Oh yeah, here's all the replacement parts. Fender, rear bumper, and the little core front bumper, and I have a front lip as well. I, I had it for sale, but nobody wants to seem to buy anything from me, so that's just more parts for me to use. However, I did sell my finish panel about three, four weeks ago, and now I need one and I don't have one. But all the other parts that I need, I have. Let me just, I don't know how I did this. Hold on, let me put y'all down for a second so I can get this undone. All right, I got the zip tie off. So, it's really just held in by just a little flappy latch. But, from the looks of it, uh, once I take the bumper off, I feel like if I either shim this or pull this out a little bit, maybe, maybe it will close properly because the, me the mechanism itself works, I think. If not, I'll just get hood pins for the other car and use that one. Either way, it's just, you know, like I said, it's a work in progress, so I'm gonna be pulling this off. But yeah, everything under here is very, very, very original, like extremely stock. Oh, it has an air conditioning conversion already. That's the AC works and it's cold. And I guess it has that little conversion thing on there because that's kind of a terrible spot to work with, but it's okay. It looks like the cam angle sensor has the, is caked in oil, of course. Mine was as well, but really you just gotta replace the valve cover gasket and it's, it's easy. But yeah, I'm, this is my first time really looking at like under the hood, deep, deep in depth. But everything else under here is pretty squared away. It's got AC, it's got power steering. I'm gonna keep the AC and the power steering in this car. I will not take it out like I did in the turbo car. Oh yeah, under here is a little, a little crunchy, but that shouldn't be too hard to fix or pull. I'm just gonna use some ratchet straps and heat. But that'll be, you know, a new frontier for me because I'm not really big on doing body work, so it's something different, something new, you know. I gotta get good at it if I wanna do it for other people, right? Still got the shield and everything. Dipstick works, it's not broken. What else we got? I haven't checked the filter. I'm sorry. <clears throat> All right, let's look in the trunk. It closes even after the accident. This right here is pushed in though. Uh, looks like the metal back here is kind of pushed in too. I don't know if y'all can see where it kind of goes inward, but again, not too bad. Where the factory bash bar mounts is not bent, thankfully. Just this little thin metal behind it inside the trunk. But the trunk pops. So what I'm gonna do is once I take off what's left of the finish panel, I'll close the trunk and do the same thing. Just uh, try to get a ratchet, the little ratchet strap somehow attached here. Or just get a big old hammer and just beat that out. Either way, as long as it looks good, I'm not too worried about it because, again, I'm not going to be using this as a high-performance vehicle. It still has the jack. There's a golf ball in here. Yeah, a lot of this stuff y'all are I'm seeing for the first time with y'all, so... I didn't realize it had the jack. I know it had the handle and the spare. 
See, when I got my Mia, I didn't have any of this in it, so I'm seeing a lot of things that I haven't seen from before as being original. I didn't know Mia just came with golf balls. I'm kidding, it's a joke. I don't know what this is for. But I definitely know what this is for, but I'll probably keep the spare in here. Dang, it even has the tire iron. And the random bungee cord. Uh, I think the spare is flat, but I can I can blow it up. This battery seems good. It starts right up, no problems. It's a lot better than my lawnmower battery. But the lawnmower battery does work. So I can't be I can't complain too much. Um so yeah, that's pretty much it. Oh another thing I saw. Ugh. Passenger side axle is broken, but I have one so I can replace it with. You know, ugh. stock exhaust, factory wheels, got the center caps. So, you know, so I guess what I'm gonna start doing now, well, I wanted to prep the new panels, although you should start sanding them down or whatever. That way I can. Um, Paint them tomorrow and mount them possibly maybe Sunday or Monday, either way. But I'll probably work on that a little later because right now I just want to kind of get into the car, maybe take the old panels off, see the extent of the work that I got to do, and I'll go from there. So, yeah, let's, I guess I can sit down and watch.
well the sun set on me but I was able to get the everything off well I got the rear bumper I got the front bumper I took the fender off I might be able to save it it's got slight little indention like right here I may save it I may just use the other one I mean I already have to paint those two so I might as well just paint that too I guess I don't know we'll see how I feel well I'm gonna have to pick up on this tomorrow so I'll see y'all then